All right, guys, I'm going to start at the day, uh, Long's house, Brian and Brandy, and then we'll go over to uh, the Davy house. We've got two side projects right by uh, side by side, so I want to uh, go ahead and do the scope of the work for both. Sorry, it's a little windy out here if you hear some wind noise. Um, on this house, this is uh, Brian and Brandy Long. We're going to be tearing off the siding on the front porch, tearing off the siding above the garage, garage wrap, um, only uh, repairing the soffit um, and the fascia and the drip board where necessary. There may be like three spots on the whole thing that need to be repaired or cut out and then um, painted. So we are going to paint the soffit and the fascia uh, and of course the areas that we're doing the hardy. It's only about a like literally, I'm going to put two squares and that's being pretty heavy because uh, we've got this front door area with a window above it, uh, a little bit of size, and um, we've got above the garage and we've got a chimney and a small little pocket in the back. So two squares were more than enough cover for the siding. I'm going to go ahead and walk around the side here. We've got those, uh, these wings right here I've as concern. So let's repair those and then uh, paint them. Here you go. There's your chimney stack. Uh, do the flashing right, please. And uh, looks like it's got a good little uh, cricket behind it, so that's good. And so we're tearing off the the uh, siding on the chimney. OSB, Breathe Easy, Hardy Trim, and eight and a quarter cedar mill select siding and painting. They want to match the paint that's similar to what they've got now. There's a couple more areas on the fascia. Uh, paint, paint, paint. I did a total of um, four squares of paint that should cover your soffit and fascia. That. Just a lot of, a lot of, just, just more paint than anything. Now, I wouldn't even say a lot of paint. It's all soffit and fascia, but there's a, there's that little pocket back here. This little pocket is uh, going to be tore off and put a little piece of, about three laps you can fit in there. Let's come on over here to the back. Got a little bit of one by that need attention to. Uh, looks like this whole run is good. Uh, the only other one by that I saw, this is all good. There's a little rotten piece back here above the AC unit in the back. Uh, a little rotten strip so we can cut out a couple feet on each side and put a new cedar one by in there. All right, let's go ahead and walk on over to the Davies project. I'll just keep the tape rolling. Go for a little walk together. So this one, the scope of work is just those couple areas. Tear off OSB, breathe easy, eight and a quarter cedar must select, and then we're painting the. Everything's brick on the house except for those areas. So we're going to paint this off in the fascia and do any necessary repairs that we need. This house, the Davies. We're going to go on through back to the chimney. And we can do these at the same time. I'm going to go walk on through if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll watch the beach. Hey, pups. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, let's go to the back. Yes, sir. All right. And this is a repair job on the chimney. So, as you can see, there's a patio cover around the chimney. We're not removing the patio cover. We're just going to work around it. If there's no siding that has to go behind the chimney, that's okay. Let's just do what we need to do. Um, we've got some issues right here on the roof that need to be addressed. Looks like some major flashing issues. Uh, there's no flashing. And a little diverters on either end I want to do. So, um, this is tear off. OSB, um, Hardy Trim, eight and a quarter cedar mill select. So we can use some of the material from uh, uh, the Long's job to take care of this. All right, guys. So just work around this uh, patio cover, and you'll be good. All right. Thanks. Bye.